there this is Vahid from the RF education channel and welcome to the third session of Django admin panel customization in previous session we have learned how to add our models to admin panel and also create an admin class in order to tell Django we want to customize this model in admin panel and we did a couple of uh, customization for the models from basic to some advanced uh, customization for example uh, change the field visibility uh, add the fields to change view list um, pagination add filters and search working with criteria in search uh, fields and a couple of uh, options like that so if you didn't uh, watch the previous session i recommend to watch them first and then continue on this one today we are going to focus on related objects what does it mean in previous session uh, we have a course class and for each course we have a couple of uh, lessons till now we need to create a uh, the course and then after that we should uh, go to the lesson uh, page and add a couple of lessons for that uh, specific course we need to look up that course but now we want to uh, change the admin panel in order to be able to add related object in this uh, scenario lessons to a course in the course uh, add page so we have two different uh, way for this one tabular or stacked uh, way these are two different classes that we can inherit from them and add related object to the main object page and also we can uh, do a couple of customization for inline objects such as change uh, the field visibility change the title of the group add some classes control the number of related object that we want to add uh, to the main object and also control over the related object deletion and there's also uh, one important customization that I forgot to tell about uh, about it in previous session and that is how to make fields read only so I'm going to cover it first and then go on um, manage related object in line in admin panel okay let's go and see how this kind of customization works so far we did uh, almost all our customization for our models and today we are going to continue on that way and we did a, a minor changes inside our admin page for example changing this title in our header and also change this Part and we will get back to this page uh, in next session but now let's get to our models so uh, we add this filter search bar how to you know, paginate the data how to make them editable and uh, you know, in the first page and also how to hide items or um, group them into one line or add some grouping options into this page uh, we check them in previous sessions and also for lessons uh, we already know how to use our related object inside the filter class and also how to uh, change a combo box or drop down inside uh, lessons into a lookup or even change it to auto completion um, drop down menu so today we want to do uh, one more thing in our course when we are going to create a course i want to uh, make this fed read only and also uh, let the user to add the lesson for this course inside this page this is somehow uh, named some inline models so let's uh, go and see how we can do this okay first of all I'm gonna make status field read only for this purpose you need to provide the fields name that you want to make them read only to read only underline fields and it's again a tuple I'm gonna make a status read only so do not forget to put comma let's refresh the page here we have a status as read only and the default value is published so you are not able to change this field this is somehow appropriate when you want to put some uh, default value for some fields and you want the user to see it not to change it now let's continue on and see how we can add lesson for a course inside this page for this purpose we need to create another class these are some inline classes so I'm gonna say I have a class named lesson inline inline and uh, this should uh, inherit from admin we have two options here first one is stacked inline and the other one is tabular inline and I'm gonna check it very soon so here you need to provide a model that this inline lesson gonna work with so I'm gonna say the model is lesson you should be an inline part of a page for lesson and then inside the course admin you need to 
explicitly tell which inlines you have. So right now I have inlines just for uh, what uh, lesson inline, and that's it. Oh, I think uh, I should provide it inside a list. Mm, I'm not. I'm, I'm sorry. Lesson. inline not less than happy so that's it now let's refresh this page so here you can see some things uh, added to this page you can add uh, by default three lessons for this course and if you want more you can add using this link so and also you just see the field for for example title position and video URL. so you don't need to specify um, course lesson because we're already in a uh, course page so now let's see how we can uh, let's see the difference of uh, between um, tabular and stacked uh, in lines so I'm gonna change it to tabular and let's refresh the page there you can see we have a uh, table like widgets for our lessons and for um, the inline or the related classes that their fields are not too many i think uh, tabular is uh, preferred over the stacked but if uh, you have a lot of fields to fill for each related uh, model you i think uh, you should use um stacked uh, uh, as your choice for inline models there are a couple of options that you can use for this inline class uh, for example you're able to say how many items uh, a user can add uh, as a related model for this model and you can um, define it using max num for example I'm gonna say you're only able to add m up to maximum five lessons for each course so if I refresh the page here if I press add add and after that you are not able to add any other extra uh, course extra lessons for this course and the other option is to say how many of uh, these um, extra or um, related class instance is visible uh, in the start so you can choose this option extra equals for example to one I want to see just one lesson instance at that page so if I refresh the page you can see there's only one instance here and you're able to add other fours uh, using that add uh, link so these are two options that you can use with this inline class and also you're able to uh, use the fields that you already use inside your admin classes inside this inline class for example I'm going to exclude the URL let's see the exact uh, field name was what um, it's video URL so I'm gonna um, exclude it from this class so again your oops exclude and I'm gonna say I don't want to see extra um, video URL inside inline models so if I refresh I press back so here you can see we have only one item title and position okay and uh, a couple of other options are also applicable uh, let's change it to stacked And see the behavior when we exclude something again here we only have two options here um, let's get this option back I don't need to exclude anything and create a lesson for example I'm gonna say this is the Django admin course this is desk or description for uh, Django admin course publish date is today and the time is right now the price is one hundred dollars or just one hundred no one thousand the author is me and let's add a couple of course um, admin course admin panel lesson one position is first video URL is a um, sample HTTP www.sample.com and let's also add another lesson two position is two and uh, add another 
and copy this one this is the order of position three and let's save it so i create another lesson so this is Django admin course and if i go to lessons page you can see i have three different lessons here and if we go to details for each lesson you can see these new lessons connected automatically to Django admin course by clicking on this one we are again redirected to uh, Django course uh, page and here we have these options and you can also delete these lessons from here you don't need to go to lessons page directly you can see a course related to each uh, Django co each course uh, and uh, delete them so if I press save here let's add another one also I'm gonna delete those two and add another one lesson four position is four and the uh, video URL is this so if I press save nothing happened here we have again those nine courses and if you go to lessons model you can see those two uh, lesson one and two for Django uh, for admin panel deleted and we have one new uh, lesson here for uh, Django admin course so what if I uh, what if what if I delete this Django course let's see what happened let's go to um, detail page and here if you press delete this is gonna delete uh, the course um, instance from the database or course row from database but uh, based on the current uh, settings lessons related to this course is uh, remain inside database and the course fields will uh, change to null so let's see what it means I'm gonna go to Django admin course and delete this item yes I'm sure so we have eight course here and if we go to lessons we can see we have these two lessons but the course is set to null so we can attach them to another course but most of the time we need to um, delete a related object when the parent object deleted or child object in object oriented uh, paradigm we need to delete those items let's see how we can uh, do this let's go to VS code and see what we defined for course field inside the lesson class this says it's related uh, to course model and undelete on deleting course we said uh, set null for this field so we can change it to cascade mm, using cascade we tell the Django if course deleted if any course deleted please delete all lessons related to that specific course now let's uh, see what does it mean so I'm gonna delete course one so if I delete course one from here it doesn't uh, matter to go to detail page and delete it or just use delete uh, selected course from first page if I press go it says are you sure and it says you're going to delete course one and also these objects uh, lessons for course okay one course uh, gonna delete and three lessons and that's true because we defined three lessons for this course so you can see all those courses deleted now let me delete all these courses because they are not attached to any course or let's uh, attach them to another course here I'm gonna say okay you are related to Django Advanced for example so if I press save and if we go to Django Advanced course you can see we have these admin panel as a lesson for that course so everything uh, gonna handle on the be on the back scene using Django you should not worry about these kind of things in uh, web development using Django so and that's it. let's see what we can do with inline classes mm. so as I told you you can use um, almost uh, all of the fields that we already checked for uh, admin classes with inline classes and uh, here I'm gonna use for example you can use exclude list display read only fields and uh, others but another thing uh, that um, you might need to use is can delete so if I um, set it with false you cannot delete I think uh, lessons from um, let's say yeah, I saved it you cannot delete lessons from a course class okay so the option that you are able to delete them is uh, move away in this uh, settings so and uh, the other option so I'm gonna give it back 
You can also use uh, the verbus name plural when you want to change the title, this title. So I'm going to say verbus uh, name plural equal to, for example, sample title. So we can change the title for this part, and this is changed to sample title or anything that you want to show to the user of your site. And again, delete option uh, get back when we comment this line. And uh, let's see, can we use classes? Oops, classes, and I want to use collapse. This time I'm going to use list option. Or let's collapse tuple and see what we have. So it's by default collapsed. So we can uh, use show to uh, show the inline items for this course. This is another option that you can use. So these are uh, the most important uh, options or most useful options that you can use with inline uh, classes uh, in Django. So I hope you enjoy the content and until next session and do a lot of more fun things in admin page. Goodbye.